show me in the Bible where it says repent of your sins. Telling Preaching people not to repent of their sins. Hey. You want a gospel hey. that's sinful. All right, brother, your turn. Amen. We spent a lot of time talking to these guys, right? To these sodomites for, what, 20, 30 minutes? I had a question when I came here. I asked you. Who are you over them? Who am I? Yeah, who are I'm you God, over them? I'm God who people. are you over you them? Want me to read what they are? No, no. Who are you? I'm that saved. deserves more attention. I'm a Christian and I'm saved. So yeah. how are you going to treat hey, bro, me over them? Bro, who are you? I don't know you. Okay. Who are you over them? I don't I don't know any difference. It's a human being. They admitted he's... that they're sodomites and I asked you for a question. What is the gospel? This guy repeaches. Stand back, please. This guy preaches. So what are you going to come in with dogs, dude? Well, you don't need to get so close. I'm like, I'm All right. Well, why don't you tie up your dogs and we can have a sort of normal conversation. I, conversation. I don't need the mic. I'm just saying. But everyone else wants to hear you. Do you guys want to hear it? Yeah. yeah. I'm just saying, I got the dog. I don't need you stepping close to me, right? That makes sense. That's just Turn common sense. Anyway, this guy repeat. He preaches repent of your sins. He preaches to be saved. You have to repent of your sins. Show me in the Bible where it says repent of your sins. He adds the magical word of your sins. The Bible says repent. So you want you want you want you want a platform, repent. sir? You want a platform? Hey, I can preach too, here. can I? You I gotta can. rebuke you. You're a false prophet. <laughs> guy comes and preaches damnable heresy that'll send you to hell. I'm a Christian. How are you guys going to treat me? I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe in him for salvation. I don't trust in my own righteousness. Why, why, are, you, why are you making satanic signs, man, with your fingers, bro? Okay, sure. I don't trust in my own works <laughs> and repenting of my sins All right, against man. the head. You don't want to listen to me? No, I don't. But you want because to you're not talking to me. You're, you're, you're preaching. Okay. If you want to preach, go set up and preach. You just listen to these guys for 20 minutes. Do you want to have a dialogue minutes. or do you want to preach? Okay. So I don't need your doctrine. If you want to ask me a question, okay, show me where it says repent of your sins, not repent. If you want to ask me a question, sins, go ahead. Show me in the King okay, King. sure, sure. You don't have a Bible? No, I don't. It's over there. Don't touch my Bible. Go grab your own. <laughs> COVID going on? Right, right, right. Bible. You're afraid of COVID in your Christian. Hey, point the camera at me. He's here preaching. Right, he doesn't right. have a Bible. This guy doesn't want to. This guy doesn't want the word. I'll, I'll get out. I'll get out of the Bible. The Bible says in Romans 3, 3, 10, it says, as it is written, there's none righteous, no, not one. It says right in verse 23, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. What does that say? Everybody sins. Everybody comes short of the glory of God. Okay? What does it say right here? What does it say in first John? Are you God? Are you God? What does it say in first John? If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. What does that say? We all sin, you okay? Are you We're right? all sinners. There's a flesh, we struggle Sorry. with our flesh. Yeah, I know that. There's a spiritual body. Step back, please. There's a spiritual body. We struggle with our flesh and our spirit. That's what the Bible talks about. So every day when you wake up and your body says, or your, your mind says, wake up, but your body says, no, I lay down for another 10 minutes. Or when you want to eat something, but your, your, your mind says, don't eat that, it's not good for you, but your body does it anyway. That's the flesh and the spirit struggling against one another. Once you get saved, you still have that, that man. You have to put him away every day and read your Bible so that you try not to sin. You should try not to sin. But repenting of your sins has nothing to do with going to heaven. Okay? So what's the Bible say? In Revelation. It says in Revelation 21. Proverbs 28, 13. He that covers his sins shall not prosper, but he who confesses and forsakes... His sins shall have mercy. Here's one verse. Here's one verse. I'm just going to rebuke you and I'll leave. Okay. He asked me for a verse. I give the guy a verse. Do you want the verse or no? Do you want to hear what I have to say? Do you want to hear the gospel? And then you can rebuke me after I leave. You can dispute anything I say. You're who are you, dude? My name's Jesse. Jesse, who cares? I'm a child of God. Who cares? I don't believe that. You wouldn't interrupt a preacher if you were a child of God. You're not a preacher. You're not a preacher. You're telling people not to repent of their sins. You want a gospel that's sinful. And Jesus says that he is not a sinful God. Be ye holy as the Lord our God is holy. You don't want a holy God. You want a sinful God. And I don't believe in you. Proverbs 28, 13. He that covers his sins shall not prosper. But whoever confesses and forsakes his sins shall have mercy. This is the word of the Lord. There's many other passages that I'm going to bring up. Hallelujah. We've come to a day that people don't believe in repentance of sins. I believe you should repent of your sins. 
You believe now? Now he believes that you should repent of your sins. No, I can go to heaven. This guy can't make the Okay, so how about this? Don't repent of your sins and you're going to go to heaven. Just live in sin. Hey, is I that mean, what you believe? If I live in sin, I'll get punished on this earth. You'll get punished. No, you're not You're not, You're not. not saved if you what? live in sin. The Bible says God chastens and chastises every son whom he receives. Okay. What does that mean? He will punish you. Does God want you to repent of your sins? Yes or no? Does God want you to repent of your sins? To come and kill me? That's me being punished. I can go to jail for the rest of my life. That's punishment on this earth. That has nothing to do with going to heaven. If I accept in the Lord Jesus Christ, so who's saved? Him or me? I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ with all my heart, all my faith. I'm not relying on my own works and repenting of my sins. That's what, I, that's, the, that's what he said you have to do to go to heaven. He just said you have to repent of your sins. Listen to his preaching. Type in, just type in YouTube. Right, I'm going I'm to read, read the YouTube scripture real quick. First Corinthians, first, this is a scripture that just disputes what you're saying. First Corinthians chapter 6, verses 9 and 10. It says, Or do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither the sexual, sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor per, men who practice homosexuality, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. Do you understand when we die, we are dead to our sin. We have no more sin. Can you respond to that or no? I'm, I'm doing it right. Do you want to listen? Go ahead. Do you want to listen and give me a chance? You're frantic, dude. Because you're a false prophet. You don't want to let me talk. There's people here that want to get saved. Buddy, buddy, okay. today your day. That's why I came. My flesh today told me stay in bed. Said don't come out here. I'm not a public speaker. My flesh said stay in bed. My nerves said don't do it. But my spirit said come and rebuke this guy in front of everybody. Wait. God is here. God is here. Okay? Don't play. Do you want me to respond? The Bible says Mark chapter 1. When we die, our, our flesh you dies. Have to our Mark chapter 1. Heaven, and we're the voice of one crying in the wilderness. This is this is funny. Here I am preaching to sinners, and then we have a so-called Christian trying to come in the middle of a preacher to stop the preacher from preaching, and he thinks he's walking with God. You're walking with the devil. The Bible says in Mark chapter 1, the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. And John did baptize in the wilderness and preach the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. This was the preparation for Jesus. Now it goes on. People went in the river. were confessing their sins. Now Jesus comes along in Mark chapter 1, 14. He repeats a very similar message. And he says this. He was preaching the gospel of the kingdom. And it said, the time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. In the same context of repentance of sins. Now, we already heard from the book of Proverbs that anyone who conceals their sins, but ever whoever confesses and forsakes them will have mercy. Now, you believe in a gospel that doesn't forsake sin, that doesn't confess sin. Now, you think that someone can be right with God without confessing and forsaking their sin. God is a sinless God. Now, the truth of the matter is true grace, true grace leads people to repentance. It's the goodness of the Lord that leads them to repentance. It's the goodness. Repentance from what? Their sin. Unbelief. Unbelief. Okay, so I'm gonna entertain this guy who believes it's simply unbelief. So if you believe in Jesus Christ, you are turning from your other gods, which is sin. You are turning from your false gods, which is sin. If you if you turn to Jesus Christ, you're turning your back on sin. No, you're not. How can you turn your heart to Jesus if you don't turn your back on sin. I have to stop believing in Buddha and I have to turn to Jesus. So how about this? I can never stop sinning. So I, I, so I can still believe in Allah and have Jesus as my Savior? I can still believe in Buddha and have Jesus as my Savior? Can I still worship that God and have this God as my Savior? You see, that? that's that's right. Can I still believe in Buddha and have Jesus as my Savior? But I thought I, I don't have to repent. I just have to believe in Jesus. This guy can't, he can't make the difference between repent of your sins and repent. Is it a sin to believe in Buddha? You keep adding the magical word of your sins. It doesn't say okay, that. Okay, let's, let's take the word sin out. Can I still believe in Buddha as my God and believe in Jesus as my God? Why? Repent of what? The unbelief, not sin. No, I, I believe Jesus is God, but I also believe in Buddha. 
because he's a false prophet. He's been teaching this for years and years. He can't okay. get it. Okay, you got your platform for a moment. You want to hear some more passages? You want to you hear some more passages about repentance of sins? There's only one God. Our Creator. There you go, man. Goodbye, false prophet. The ones that created. Well, false prophet with two bulldogs. Matthew chapter 9 and 13 says, I will have mercy and not sacrifice, for I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Jesus Christ came not only to die for sin, but to get us to turn away from sin. That's why he gives you the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is there so that we don't have to live in sin, that we can live free from sin, that we can overcome our sin. This is what the gospel is about. It's about taking away our sin so that we would no longer be slaves of sin, but slaves to righteousness. So this idea that sin is not the issue with God is a lie. Jesus died for sin. Sin is when we turn our backs on God. It's a sin when we worship other gods. Now notice what the man said. He said that you don't have to repent of sin. But I said, well, is it okay if I believed in Buddha as God and then believed in Jesus as God? And he said, no. Now, to me, I, I think that would just click in his head to realize something's got to change. You can't keep believing in the Buddha as God and Jesus as God. You can't continue to chase after idolatry, which is sin, commit spiritual adultery which is sin because if you're married to Christ and you're living in sin that means you have other spouses in your life so if he believes that you can't have Jesus as your spouse meanwhile worshiping the Buddha but I'm here to tell you today biblically you can't have other spiritual spouses by living in sin and at the same time saying you have Jesus as your Lord Notice what the Word of God says in Romans chapter 10. If we confess with our mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in our heart that God has raised him from the dead, we shall be saved. Now, if we believe Jesus is Lord, that means he's the governor of our lives. When we say we believe in Jesus, we're not just believing in the idea of Jesus. We're believing in the person of Jesus Christ. We're accepting everything that he is. The Bible says... Whoever comes to God must believe that he is. If you believe that Jesus Christ is the Lord, then you're not going to give your heart to sin. If you believe that Jesus Christ is the Lord, then you're not going to give yourself to Buddha or to Krishna or to Muhammad because you believe Jesus is Lord. And that's why I can guarantee that that man has no gifts of the spirit coming out of his life I can guarantee that man doesn't speak in tongues he doesn't prophesy all of the gifts of the spirit he denies why because you cannot have the power of God residing in you unless you believe that he's more than a hypothetical imagination and a thought a lot of people are believing in Jesus as though he's just a thought but he's a person and when you accept that person in your life when the Holy Ghost comes in your life, you become holy. You change. And you continue to change.